What's up, y'all? This just showed up in my brain today, right now, and I want to talk it through because I think, you know, like we're asking these questions about what do we do in this moment, right? And how do we, what can we do? And why people are saying, what can I do? And what should I do? And um, and I'm thinking about the juxtaposition of the two um, videos over the week in the video of Amy Cooper calling the police on Christian Cooper in Central Park um, when she was asked to put her dog on a leash. And then I'm thinking about George Floyd and that officer murdering him in broad daylight with so many people standing about watching, uncertain what to do. And then I'm thinking about a video that I saw last week of an older white woman, I think Mark Lamont Hill posted it, of an older white woman who was being stopped by the cops for like registration or something that was like six months expired and she, her refusal, utter refusal um, to accept that he was writing her a ticket. And so she first attempted to flee the scene, then she resisted arrest, and then she kicked the officer. And when I tell you that it took about 40 I mean, it, it, they were engaged in this for what looked like 25 or 30 minutes before um, anything, before anybody did any, before the cop, eventually, after she swung on him and kicked him and all these other things, he tased the woman. Um, and she still was fighting. Um, but the level of escalation that she engaged in in that moment and um, and came out alive very 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 alive while george floyd died um on that street in the gravel in minneapolis um and what i can't help but think when white people say what should you know like what can i do what do i need to do what do i need to do it's like you needed to throw your white body on that officer and save that black man's life because guess what? That officer wasn't going to ever kill you. And that officer will not kill you. Because that is not the way the system is designed to work. It is not designed to kill you. It is not designed to harm your body. Your body in this system is capital. It is the literal and physical manifestation of safety. And so when black people and people of color's bodies are in danger, you need to put your body in front of those bodies. You need to use the Teflon flesh that is whiteness to interrupt the deadly violence that whiteness yields on black bodies. I don't want one more white person to ask me, what do you do while watching on videos, the world kill black people because you have a body of safety that you can literally use to interrupt violence. If you are, you need to put your body and this is not the first time that I've said this. I did a video years ago talking about skin in the game and the fact that black people have literal and th literal and metaphorical skin in the game of disrupting racism and white supremacy, white supremacist ideologies. And the problem is that white people don't have skin in the game and white people don't have skin in the game when they are the safest bodies to have skin in the game. Literally the safest body, the body that will interrupt police from unloading guns against you. You saw it when protesters took AR-15s to the state capitol in Michigan and stood in police faces and they left totally intact, not even tear gas. Y'all remember Ruby Ridge? That was just a few years ago. Where white men with whole ass guns. Y'all don't remember Charlotte? With white men with tiki torches marching through the streets. Just fine. Just fine. Like in opposition to the state. 
in opposition to the rules of the state, defying the state in front of the state, like kiss my ass. And the state was like, we will allow you to have your rights. That white woman, Amy Cooper, in that park, that power that she had, that she knew she had, guess what? All white people have it. You have it too. And right now it's activated towards complacency. It's activated towards comfort. It's activated towards not ever having to like have your own fear activated. But the difference between fear, there's a difference between fear and danger. When black people are afraid, we're literally in danger from the state system. When white people are, white people aren't afraid of the police. That's, you can see that. They believe the police to be their assistants. Y'all not afraid of the police because you don't have no reason to be. So if you feel scared around stepping in and using your body to interrupt state sanctioned violence, the police industrial complex, I want you to know that that fear is fine. It's fine to have the fear, but you're not in danger. And so be with that fear and use it to catalyze action, to use your body to interrupt the system. That's where your power is. Yes. Yes, I am categorically, unapologetically telling white people that you need to go put your bodies in front of police stations, in front of police officers. If you see a routine, if you see any kind of police interaction between um, a police person and a, a officer and a black person, you need to put your body there. And it is not until white people begin to put their body in front of imperialist violence against people of color and black folks specifically that this system, the system is relies on you to continue to see it as safety for you and safety and service to you and danger for everybody else. But you can flip that paradigm. You have the ability to shift that paradigm and to take that innate safety that that system has given to you and defy it in service of liberation. Don't ask me anymore what you can do. Figure out where you're going to put your body.